Hayes. Serena. Two bats. Drift by Nomuken. Can he drift safely? Unexpected Machine, Ban Edition. D1GP Preliminary Day in Tsukuba. Nomuken, who was asked to do the job in the middle of the preliminary event. Let's start with the unexpected machine that everyone is waiting for. I don't know if you are really waiting. I still haven't seen the machines yet. Let's look back. These are the vans in general terms. This may be my first time. On the other hand, it seems fun. On the other hand, I'm nervous. Anyway, let's go. Nissan Serena C23 Serena's owner, Kamimori-san First of all, Serena, it looks like a machine that it is used for farm work and us with straw hats and towels I've never seen this Originally, was there a manual transmission and turbo? There is no turbo, but there is a manual transmission with a naturally aspirated engine of SR20. An S14 turbine is attached to the SR20 for 290 horsepower. Indeed, did you add a turbo? I attached a turbo. Why did you choose this van? Originally, it was a van to carry a motorcycle. I bought it as a motorcycle carrier. I wanted to do it while I was watching drifting. I decided to try to do it because it's manual and LSD is attachable. Normally, healthy people ride the passenger car. How heavy is the car weight? The current weight of the car is 1,300 kilograms. It's not that heavy. Doesn't your family say anything about this? I've got divorced because of that. Really? Because of this? But that's good. I hope you enjoy yourself. Could you tell me the point of boasting? The point of boasting is... The engine is under the chair, but the intercooler is in front. The suction pipe is about 5 meters. It's long! Let's see the interior. Well... Can I say this? It's junk. Some wood is attached beneath. What is this? It is a heel plate. Kuniaki Takahashi was using it as a D1 car. He does not have such wood. Rubber. This is it. The net. I see. So mosquitoes and sparrows don't enter while doing farm work. You're smart. This is originally a manual transmission. What is this stuck here? The transmission is set more toward the front. The e-brake is normal. The front of the suspension is C35 Laurel. The attachment of the knuckles is just attached. If you use upper for Serena only, it will be attached as it is. The back is multi-link. It is a leaf spring of transversely placed resin. Inevitably, the spring rate is low, but increasing the reef makes it too hard. It is quite difficult to take good points. What is the most proud point? I am most proud of this muffler. I am good at peering down. It's changed here and there. I made it for today's shooting. Titanium? It is titanium like stainless steel. There's something that I'm curious about. Not this. This one. Is this a muffler? This is the pipe of the exhaust of the wastegate. It is the same system with the D1 car. Does the exhaust come from here? If you open it, yes. It's usually closed and you open it on circuits. What percentage is this completion rate? It's 80%. There is still much to do. What is it? I would like to make it a rear radiator. First of all, make a happy family. Well, I need to try it to know. Let's go. I will borrow it for a moment. Test drive.
It's the first time in my life to van drift. It would be nice to go to the work site. The position of the driver's seat is so high. High seat cars are popular nowadays, but it's even higher. The sight from the van is amazing. This is difficult. Usually front tires are in front. Front tires are below my butt. It is quite difficult. It would be fun to get on the job site. The rear feels so long. The driver's seat is up in front and the back seems too long. I never felt like this. Oh, not this. This is confusing. It's easy to mix up the shift lever and the e-brake. It's a kind of drifting, right? Even though it's a van. If I drive more and get used to it, it'll be more fun. I want a bit more power. This van seemed to be able to drift somewhat like this quickly, going to work with luggage and then run through the mountain pass on the way back. It will make the work fun. The front tires are in front for drifting cars. It seems like I'm riding on the tires and swayed by the back. It's very difficult. Going to work and then playing in the pass on the way home, I think work would be fun. Toyota Hiace 200 series. This is the 200 series Hiace, which was said to be the Lexus of the workers, Hiace owner Kato san. And it has a matte finish. How did you choose this color? I just did it with my friends. This spray can? Yep. What did you use it for before you made it into a drift car? At first, I bought this to carry a motorcycle. When I went to the circuit, I packed the motorcycle in it. All my friends started drifting with cars. I thought it would be fun. You happened to have this van, so you decided to make it into a drift car. You probably had a hard time with this. Even now, I am struggling. The engine? It is normal. It is 1TR of 2 liter petrol. Is the transmission original? Well, yes, it is original. Do you have any unusual tuning of anything? There is a change of the mounting position of the bolt in the turbo and rear suspension. Rear suspension is difficult for this type of car. It's leaf. I feel like I'm going to bounce. Let's look inside. I see it is bent. Originally the shift was there. It just got better than at the original position and now it's in the right position. Is this the side brake? This was enclosed with a zip tie. It is an e-brake for 8.6. 8.6 was joined together and the original one is held by a zip tie wrap. That is exactly right. I smell danger. Does this tie wrap last long? Zip tie is unbeatable. Then I'm at ease. Indeed, it is possible. The luggage compartment area carried the motorcycle. Let's check out what you're proud of. Open. Indeed, it's a lot of stuff. Generator, compressor. You can open a hot dog shop here. You can also have a shaved ice shop. Is there anything you have difficulties with this van? After all, it is said that it is not suitable for drifting with all the legs and body rigidity. It has a lack of power and the body weight. Does that mean you failed? I think I could have saved a lot of money if I didn't do this. You can't quit now. I can further evolve it and pile it up with turbo engine and stuff. You can add sequential transmission or something. By the way, is it easy to drift? It's easy to do. Really? 
Some people say it feels like driving 8.6. It seems to be far different from 8.6. Well, I have to drift it once. I think it will be absolutely difficult. I'm going to try it. Test drive. I feel like a van driver. The steering is kind of at the front. My feet is barely reaching. The steering is not stable. Is this steering okay? I'm going to try it anyway. Here we go. Their gear is in crazy places. I'm hitting on the bottom. He can't get in the gear because it's touching the center console. I can't. With the sound of bang. The gear does not go in. Is it effective on the e-brake? Oh, break it! The e-brake terminated. It makes me nervous! The zip tie connected to the e-brake got cut off. I was a little impatient. I would fix it if I had a zip tie. I am worried about the zip tie. Then go without it. I should go without it. Okay. The owner says e-brake doesn't work much, so it's no problem. Well then, without a zip tie. If it is second gear, you get a tremendous rev. From S-curve. It is amazing to feel this jump. Everything slipped. Even the mirror. This one might be more difficult. The position of the tires are even more behind. Moreover, there's no e-brake. There's too much in the back to deal with interior. The steering is unsteady. I feel like I'm going to overturn somewhere. This is difficult. Perhaps the power of the engine is not enough compared with Serena. This is difficult. I don't know how to cut the steering. If it is second gear or fourth gear, it will be hit. I want it to be down a bit further. After all, highest tires are closer to the butt, so it's even more difficult. If it is third gear, it will stop in the rear and it is revved in second gear. But it must be so much fun to ride and drift in a van like this that no one has. It's not powerful enough. It is already so bouncy. I am glad I didn't turn it over. In simple words, it drives me crazy. This one is more difficult. I don't know, maybe the shape of the suspension? It gets so bouncy and one mistake would lead it to overturn. I don't know how much power it has. There is not enough strength. It makes me nervous. And it's missing the most important thing, e-brake. I'm glad I'm alive. Well, it's cool to have a drift van. It can load lots of luggage and tires. This might be nice. At D1GP final day in Scuba, demo run with two vans owners during the chase. Some strange car started running. What was that? 
What was it? Van Drift. This is Serena and Hayes of 200 series. There are also people like this now. W. Serena. This is Hayes. Is it alright? Isn't it dangerous? So bouncy. He can't drift though. Even just doing it is good enough. Everyone thought it would be over without any troubles after the last lap of the demo run. I wouldn't drift with this normally. If you have normal sense. Oh no, dangerous danger! You've done it now! You idiot! I told you, you destroyed the course. He broke the course. What? Oh, 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 ah, uh. ah, crash! Stop it! Stop it now! It's over. I told you to stop it, you video option. That is the end. Well, it was fun. You can't see it often. It was really something. I knew it would crash. I'm sorry. I got too excited. It's good, not so much damage. It is a town ride level. Was it pleasant to run in front of the audience? It felt too good. I screwed up. I was driving in public. I was really nervous in the beginning, but I forgot it immediately. I tried to look good. I wanted to chase though. The van drift ended in a sigh finally. Please expect the future evolution of unexpected machines.